All right, so the first thing I would do with this um, before you paint it is if you want to sketch something out on it, um, do whatever you need to do in order to make this process easy for you. Uh, but usually porcelain or bisqueware is super duper thirsty. So if you actually try and just simply put some paint on it, it really will just suck it right in and it won't move at all. You won't have any chance to actually paint with it. So I personally suggest putting a couple of coats of water on it. Heck, you can even dip it into the water if you want and kind of just do this periodically throughout your painting process so you have a little bit more time to actually move the paint around. Okay, so um, today I'm going to be using some of the patina paints to make my little pendant painting and um, these work. Uh, also regular acrylic paint works, Sharpie marker works, pencil works, um, what else? Pretty much anything will work. You can glue onto it, you can decoupage onto it, it's, it's great. I've got a little sample um, that uh, will be in a still after this process that kind of shows you all the different little techniques I tried and what they look like. All right, so on to actually painting. See, look, it almost completely sucked up all that water in that brief time. All right, here we go. Let's make some happy little trees. First, we're gonna have a happy little sky. I'm gonna dilute this out a little bit. Ooh, look, see, it's kind of like a watercolor effect when you do it this way dab off my extras. A nice little base there. Maybe put a little bit more in. Mm -hmm. 